In this video, I'm gonna show you the differences between a version one and a V2, V3 TP-Link TLWN722N Wi-Fi adapter. And I'm gonna show you how to get the version two, version three adapter working by installing the correct drivers on Kali Linux. In a previous video, I showed you how to do that, but the process was very convoluted. It's much, much easier today. The steps that I show you here may also apply to other adapters such as this one, the TLWN725N Wi-Fi adapter. Okay, without further ado, let me show you a version one adapter and show you the differences between that and a version two, version three adapter. Now, one of the big differences between a version one adapter and say the version two, version three adapter is that monitor mode is available by default with a version one adapter. Monitor mode and in packet injection is not available with the version two, version three adapter by default. You have to install the correct drivers. So to demonstrate that, let's take a version one adapter. I'll plug it into my computer. In this example, I'm running Kali Linux within VMware Workstation Player on a Windows 11 computer. I'll connect the adapter to Kali. I'll open up a terminal and type iwconfig. As you can see, WLAN zero is shown. Its mode is managed mode. Alice USB shows us the chipset for this adapter. Notice AR9271. So this is the version one adapter. A different chipset is used in version two, but just to show you what happens, I'll run Wi-Fi. You could use M on NG or something else to do this test, but Wi-Fi makes this very easy. So I'll put my password in and what you'll notice is monitor mode is enabled on the Wi-Fi adapter and various Wi-Fi networks are displayed. And then I could, as an example, attack one of those Wi-Fi networks. So as an example, I'll attack number five, which is this little TP link Wi-Fi router. Only ever attack Wi-Fi networks that you own or have permission to attack do not attack networks that you don't have permission to attack. But in this example, I'll attack that network. I'll stop that here because we've proven the point that monitor mode has been enabled on that Wi-Fi adapter. But let's try something similar with the version two, version three adapter. How does this act differently? So I'll plug that into the computer. Again, I'll connect the adapter to Kali Linux. IWconfig in this case shows me that W LAN zero is in managed mode. Notice that is different to what we saw previously. We didn't see that kind of output here. Previously, we saw this when we used LS USB. Now LS USB shows us that this TP-Link adapter, version two, version three, is using the Realtek chipset. And this is important because this is the driver that we're going to install. But notice what happens when I run Wi-Fi now. It picks up WLAN zero. This is the driver. This is the chipset. But notice monitor mode fails. We cannot find any interfaces in monitor mode. So I'll run Wi Fi with a kill option just to kill all conflicting processes. But notice enabling monitor mode failed. The difference here is that this version two, version three adapter doesn't support monitor and injection mode by default. So what we're going to do is type sudo apt update to update our references. And notice this, RTL 8188EUS. The command we're going to now use to install the correct drivers is this, sudo apt install dash Y to install the software without a prompt, Realtek RTL 8188EUS DKMS. So hopefully just with that one command, I should be able to update the drivers on my Kali Linux virtual machine. And then I should be able to use the adapter. Now I've had problems where you have to reboot the virtual machine before the drivers start working. So I'll do that in a moment. But notice the drivers are installed. This is a lot simpler than the previous method that I demonstrated using the video that I've linked below. That was a lot harder. This is basically two commands reboot the computer and monitoring an injection should work using a version two or version three adapter. Okay, so that's done now. If I type LS USB, notice we're still using the Realtek TP-Link version two, version three adapter. Pseudo Wi-Fi. Notice I'm having the same problem. So what I'm gonna do now is sudo shutdown reboot now to reboot Kali Linux. 
Okay, I'll log in with my username and password, open up a terminal, iwconfig. We can see that it's the real tech adapter, sudo wifi dash kill. I'll put in my password and notice that's not working. So I'll break that. Notice this adapter, version two, version three, has now been put into monitoring mode. And I can see various Wi-Fi networks, and then I could attack my little TP network once again. Okay, I'll stop that. Okay, so there you go. I've shown you how to install the correct drivers for a version two, version three TP-Link network adapter. I showed you by default that version one supports monitoring mode and injection mode. So if I connect the version one adapter again, LS USB, you can see we back to the version one adapter, sudo Wi-Fi kill. We can put the adapter into monitor mode and that works. And let's try again with the version two, version three adapter, connect that to Kali, sudo Wi-Fi again. You can see that this is a version two, version three adapter that's now being put into monitor mode. So that works successfully. Okay, so there you go. I've shown you how to get a version two, version three adapter working with Kali Linux. In this example, I'm using 2023.1. Process is a lot simpler than in the past. Version one adapters work by default, but version two, version three don't. I don't recommend that you use these adapters. I recommend that you use an alpha adapter. I've put my favorite adapters below based on the discussions with multiple people in the industry, as well as some of the developers of Kali Linux. Those are the adapters that I'd recommend that you get. I'll also create an updated video showing you more adapters and more options. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it. Please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and clicking on the bell to get notifications. I'm David Bombal and I want to wish you all the very best.